Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What are the key concerns regarding Matt Gates's character and competency for the role? So you're wondering why there's so much fuss about Matt Gates being nominated as the Attorney General. Let's break it down. First off, Gates has been under a lot of scrutiny for some serious allegations. He was being investigated by the House Ethics Committee for allegations of child sex trafficking and sexual misconduct. Although he resigned from Congress before the report could be released, this has raised a lot of eyebrows. These allegations are pretty serious. The investigation included whether Gates was involved in a scheme that led to the sex trafficking of a 17-year-old girl and whether he engaged in sexual misconduct and illicit drug use. He also faced allegations of accepting improper gifts and trying to obstruct government investigations into his conduct. Gates has denied all of these allegations, but they still cast a shadow over his character. Another concern is his history with fellow Republicans. Gates has been quite divisive, even within his own party. He was part of a group that opposed Kevin McCarthy's bid for House Speakership and later orchestrated a vote that led to McCarthy's ouster. This kind of behavior has made many Republicans question his ability to work collaboratively and maintain the integrity of the Justice Department. His loyalty to Trump is well known, but some see this as a double-edged sword. While Gates has been a strong defender of Trump, his actions have also been seen as part of a broader attack on what he calls the deep state, which includes agencies like the FBI and ATF. If confirmed, he would have oversight over these very agencies, which raises concerns about his impartiality and ability to lead the Justice Department fairly. Many lawmakers, including some Republicans, are surprised by his nomination and have expressed doubts about his competency for the role. For instance, Senator Lisa Murkowski from Alaska said she doesn't see him as a serious candidate for the position. Former National Security Advisor John Bolton went as far as to say it's the worst nomination for a cabinet secretary in American history, citing Gates's lack of character and competency. The confirmation process is expected to be tough, with many senators indicating they will scrutinize his nomination closely. Senator Susan Collins from Maine emphasized the importance of the Senate's advise and consent process, suggesting there will be many questions raised during his hearing. In summary, the concerns about Matt Gates revolve around serious allegations of misconduct, his divisive behavior within his own party, and doubts about his ability to lead the Justice Department impartially and competently. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Want the inside scoop on your neighborhood? Imagine knowing exactly what your neighbors paid or who actually owns that stunning house down the block. At countyoffice.org, you can create a free account and snoop through over 150 million property records, owner names, mortgage details, sale prices, all those things other sites make you pay for. Don't miss out on the fun. Just Google countyoffice.org property records or head to countyoffice.org directly and create your free account today. Go on. Get your snoop on.